Hey everyone, so today this video I'm actually going to be answering one of the questions from you guys. So this guy, he his question I'm going to put up here. Boop. He says, I need help. He has a client who does massaging. I'm creating a booking calendar, but my client has different services that last different times. Some, mess, uh, some massages are 30 minutes and one hour, etc. And a lot of the times when you do the calendar, um, there's only one specific slot duration and he doesn't want his client to miss out. So this is a great question, David. And yes, you're correct that when you create normal calendars, you can only select one, but what you have to do is use the group function instead. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. So let's just go in and we're gonna create a calendar. So let's just select this one. And we're just gonna do test one and we're gonna set it for duration of 30 minutes. So it's name gonna be 30 minutes. And we'll leave everything the same and just press confirm. Oh, slug, we'll just do test one, 30. Okay. And we'll close that. Once we've created that, we're gonna create our second calendar. And we're gonna go test two in 60 minutes. I'll go to test two, 60 change that to 60 and we'll keep everything the same and confirm and we'll close that as well and now we're going to go groups and we're going to add a new calendar group now we're going to do let's do let's do massage example 30 and 60 minutes test i'll do 30 60 all right and then now we're going to go back into our calendars and find the two things that we made. So here's our 30 minute one. We're going to go in and we're going to go move to group. I'm going to assign it to massage 30 minutes and select. Following that, we're going to add this one again to the 30 minutes and press select. And essentially once they're in there in the groups, you'll see there's now two calendars in here. And we'll go in and let's see if we can copy copy scheduling link. And then we'll open it in a new tab. So essentially you see this is something that comes up and clients can actually go in and go whether they want a 30 minute massage or a 60 minute massage. They can go in and select the time slots that they're available. Now also this is where users actually come in really handy because let's say you assign a person, let's say the massage owner, let's, let's call her Kate for now. And Kate, you assign her to the user on both calendars. So if someone wishes to book with Kate at 9.30 at the 30 minute slot, once they book that, they won't actually be able to have the 9.30 slot in the 60 minute slot. So this prevents any clashing. And so that was a quick rundown of how to do calendars with different appointments. Obviously the group calendars work the same as normal calendars, how you can embed them into actual websites and stuff. So you can go ahead and do that if you have a website already built for her, whether it's on go high level, or you can even embed this in any website on such as Wix, WordPress. It's pretty easy to do. And I do have a 30 day free trial of Go High Level for anyone that doesn't have Go High Level yet. It's one of the best softwares out there. Get onto that because if you use my link to sign up, I'll also be able to give you access to my free course that I help students set up their whole Go High Level system in just 24 hours. And this is a proven method to use AI and the software to start helping you make $5,000 to $10,000 in semi-passive income. If you want to know more about how calendars work, I do have a complete tutorial that I'll put up right here and you guys can look at that. Hope this video has helped you and I'll see you in the next one.